everything is uncharted territory, essentially. A revolutionary procedure is giving bone cancer patients hope to walk again. It's not yet FDA approved in the U.S., but a local doctor is giving it a shot. Our 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis explains that how this San Diego man is the first patient on the West Coast to undergo the surgery. Walking down the block to the mailbox may seem mundane. Do you have any idea how good mundane sounds right now? Because for Eric Bolt, each step forward is another milestone. Yes, it is. Last summer, he was diagnosed with bone cancer, a tumor in his pelvis close to his spine. It's one of the very few tumors that hasn't really been, we couldn't successfully treat it with either chemotherapy or radiation. So you have to take out the tumor and the tumor takes out the bone. Leaving patients with a floating femur that makes one leg four inches shorter than the other, possibly unable to walk. That possibility was very disturbing. I think I feared that more than death. Determined to give Bolt a different outcome, Dr. Anna Collegian with Scripps MD Anderson Cancer Center took his case to a conference where she learned about a device developed in Germany. It truly raised a lot of questions. There were only a handful of surgeons around the world, four surgeons that have tried it. The device connects the remaining pelvic bone to the femur. So it's like a fancy hip replacement. Dr. Collegian got a special compassionate use approval from the FDA to do the procedure for Bolt. Once he got through the 10-hour surgery, he'd have to learn how to walk again, undergoing physical therapy every week. But so far, everything has gone right. This truly changes our ability to offer some kind of a hope. She really went to bat for me and uh, spent a lot of time putting in a lot of paperwork. And now Bolt can look forward to new milestones. I'd like to be able to walk around the neighborhood with my wife. None of which are mundane. It's really the difference between hope and hopelessness. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. While the device has been approved for compassionate use in limited situations, it could be years before getting FDA approval for widespread use here in the U.S.